One of the things that Germany is not very good at is political scandals. We do have them, although not quite on the level of, say, an outgoing president trying to incite a rebellion in order to hang on to power and then stealing hundreds of pages of top secret documents. But at least we make an effort. Take the case of Peter Feldman, the Lord Mayor of Frankfurt, who is popular enough to be elected in 2018 for his second term, but then things very quickly went downhill from there. The following year, it was revealed that Feldman's wife, who worked for a charity organisation, had been receiving the highest possible salary for somebody of her pay grade, even though she hadn't been working for long enough to actually justify it. Oh, and she also had an official car for some obscure reason. OK, that's a bit embarrassing that the Feldmans paid back a large sum of money, and that should have been that, really, except that very soon after that, disappointed Frankfurters were further dismayed to read of fresh allegations. It turns out their mayor had been using his influence to lobby on behalf of the organisation that his wife worked for. Now, let's be completely clear about this. The accusation was that Feldman went to the theatre and, during the interview, spoke to another politician and asked her to please reconsider her decision to discontinue her relationship with the organisation on the matter of the housing of refugees. Yes, in Germany this counts as a scandal. I mean, OK, I can see that this is improper given his vested interest here, but still, it has to be a bit of a slow news day for that to get splashed across the front pages. But then there was more. Frau Feldman, it turned out, was still receiving large and unexplained sums of money from the organisation in return for what one staff member described as no noticeable amount of work. Now, the mayor reacted by releasing his personal financial records and proudly announcing that he was to be Germany's first completely transparent Lord Mayor, and all was quiet for another year until it was revealed that, while still an intern, his wife had received a full salary. Now, by this time, the couple had actually separated, but even so, Herr Feldman very angrily defended her and himself against the allegations. This brings us to March of this year, when something quite remarkable happened. The Frankfurt State Prosecutor launched criminal investigations into Feldman's activities, and it wasn't just about his wife's salary. Now there was evidence that the organisation had donated to his election campaign in return for his lobbying on their their behalf. And this is where things started to get really bad for him. He gave a speech in front of the city parliament in which he said that he was definitely not corrupt. And absolutely nobody applauded. Even members of his own party sat in silence. In May, Feldman accompanied Eintracht Frankfurt to the European Cup finals in Seville. And on the plane, he gave a little speech to the players in which he claimed that the female flight attendants had left him hormonally out of action. Whatever that phrase was supposed to mean, it really didn't make him look good. By now, everyone in the city parliament was calling for his resignation. He refused, but then news broke that he was to be put on trial on charges of corruption. On the 9th of June, an assembly of city councillors found against him in a vote of no confidence. Now, at this point, it gets messy, as Feldman announced that he would soon announce his resignation uh, in order to spare the city further trouble. But even so, the city council went ahead with the process of deselection. And on the 14th of July, Feldman was duly voted out by a two-thirds majority. And if you're thinking that was the end of the story, then think again, because contrary to some of his previous statements, Feldman now seems to be very determined to cling on to power for as long as he can possibly manage. He had one week to respond, and he didn't respond, which means that the city now has to move on to the next stage in the process, which in Frankfurt is a referendum. Yes, the city is now going to have to spend over one and a half million euros asking its own citizens what they think should happen to their disgraced Lord Mayor. Germany has seen worse political scandals, of course, but this is probably the most German I have ever encountered. Anyway, it remains to be seen just how badly the citizens of Frankfurt want to punish a politician for forcing them to vote in a referendum that was completely avoidable. 
So I would just like to express my gratitude to you for watching this video and um, if you'd like to click on the link down below and watch another video I'll be sure to make it worth your while. Oh and um, this conversation never happened okay? <laughs>